Welcome to this Smith & Nephew Digital Education module on Abnormal Wound Healing. This forms part of a series of modules you can access to develop your knowledge and understanding around wound care. Today we will be discussing Abnormal Wound Healing. By the end of the module you will be able to recall the physiology of the wound healing phases and recognise the inflammatory stage of wound healing and the impact it has in relation to abnormal healing. You can see on this slide the stages and timescales for a wound to go on to achieve complete healing. The wound healing process is a dynamic, highly organised series of events. The process starts with haemostasis and then progresses through a destructive inflammatory phase which then leads on to cell proliferation and repair. It finishes with remodelling of the wound area. The normal process can be interrupted at any stage and is vulnerable to a variety of intrinsic and extrinsic inhibitory factors. The majority of wounds do go on to heal normally but in some wounds healing is abnormal and prolonged. Wound healing involves the interaction of matrix components, different cell types and biochemical factors including proteases and protease inhibitors, cytokines and growth factors. This image takes you through each stage of the inflammatory process. It is here where wounds get stuck due to abnormal wound healing. Firstly, bacteria and other pathogens enter the wound. Platelets then release blood clotting proteins to stem any bleeding. Mast cells secrete factors which controls vasodilation and vasoconstriction and as a result blood plasma and other cells increase. Neutrophils arrive at the scene of the injury which secrete factors that kill and degrade pathogens. Along with macrophages, phagocytosis continues until all of the pathogens are removed. Finally, macrophages secrete hormones called cytokines that attract immune system cells to the site and activate cells involved in tissue repair. This response continues until all foreign material is eliminated and the wound is repaired. In the instance where a wound is not progressing along the normal healing trajectory, wounds can become stuck in the inflammatory phase. This creates an increase in inflammatory cells and proteases in addition to reduced growth factors and receptors that are vital for tissue repair and regeneration. In the instance where underlying disease and pre-existing conditions are apparent, wounds can be more susceptible to delayed healing. The majority of wounds often fall into three wound categories. These are venous leg ulcers, pressure ulcers and diabetic foot ulcers. An early indication of abnormal healing is when a wound fails to heal by at least 40% in the first four weeks. To check your knowledge and understanding of this module, try and answer the quiz questions below. You have now completed this module. Take the time to reflect on how you will take some of what you have learnt today and apply it into your daily practice. Please click on the link to go to the full 15 minute version of this presentation. Once completed, you have the opportunity to download NMC revalidation forms. Thank you for your time today. Please remember to look at the other sections to access additional modules to help you on your learning journey.